Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. Can you believe it's Tuesday of Thanksgiving week? I'm thinking of things that I thought of yesterday that I'm thankful I don't have. And today I'm reflecting on things that I do have for which I'm grateful. Not all of it is um, a matter of a tangible item or a thing. Uh, it's usually the relationships that I have that I'm so grateful for. I'm very fortunate to still have my parents. My dad just turned 87 a couple weeks ago. And my mother, last week, turned 84. Now, they were born in the 30s, the 1930s. That's an amazing thing. My mother can still remember her mother, and her mother died when mother was nine years old. She lost her mother in 1945. And I never, of course, I never knew my grandmother. But my mother can talk about her mother in vivid detail, even though it's been 75 years since she's seen her or heard from her or touched her hand. But there's an indelible mark in my mother's mind and heart of the wonderful memories of her mother and their family life. My grandmother apparently was a very sweet woman. She was a rather quiet woman. And I've looked at pictures of her and she reminds me so much of my mother and I'm told that my mother looks more like her mother than any of the five children. But my mother still remembers that quite well. And she always, uh, excuse me, she always thanked God for her mother. Uh, and I remember her thanking God for her mother when I was a little boy. Now, by then, grandmother had been gone for 20 plus years. And my mother was still thankful for her mother. And I said, Mother, I thought she was dead. She said, well... She's dead, her body is dead, but her spirit's still in my mind, and I have still wonderful memories of her. I'm sure that will be the way it is when my mother passes, because I've been blessed, very, very blessed, to have tremendous parents. Everybody can't say this. And I know some people think their parents can do no wrong, and I live long enough to realize that they can and did. I also live long enough to be grateful for parents that taught me to love other people unconditionally. My parents taught me to love God and have a relationship with God. They taught me not to judge people. Now there are times in my life when I failed at that. But I'm working on it. And I, I hope you will too. But I want to encourage you today, if you do still have your parents, or even if you don't, still give thanks for what they taught you, either directly or indirectly. Sometimes even people that have bad relationships with their parents can learn from them, hey, this is something I don't want to do. I When I get children of my own or grandchildren of my own. I don't want to do these things. They can be a blessing to you without even trying. Take time to tell them that you love them. Remember not to say the best things about people. Say the best things to people. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I'll be talking to you again this week. Some more. Meanwhile, if you feel alone in this world, you're just not. And if you ever feel unloved, you're not. Because I love you. Hope you have a great Tuesday. Bye-bye for now.